Hi, my name is Miguel from avoiderrors.net. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to fix the missing boot manager, manager in Windows Vista. To do this, you need the installation CD of Windows Vista or the recovery disk. Now, you can go to the link in the description box and it will take you here, near smart.net, and you can download the recovery disk. But right now, is pending copyright clarification. So I'm using the Windows Vista installation CD for this video tutorial. The recovery disk is just in case you don't have the installation CD. Keep that in mind. If you're getting this message here, boot manager is missing. Press Ctrl Alt Delete to restart. There's no need to panic. But now you have to set your first boot device to be your drive D in the BIOS by pressing F2, delete, etc. Now when you see press any key to boot from CD, press enter and it will load the Windows Vista like if you're installing it again or for the first time. Now when you get to this window here click next and here click on repair your computer it's gonna search Windows installations I only have one so you might have two make sure you select the appropriate one this is my Windows Vista on my, on my drive C and click next now when you click next you're gonna find five options the only one you need is the first one and the last one the first one if you want to repair it automatically and the last one is by using the command prompt I'll show you both ways the problem is, the problem is that the first one here automatically doesn't always work all you need to do is click on the link and it will automatically fix the errors here it is all you need to do now is click finish your computer will restart and the problem the the problem is repaired but sometimes it doesn't work it gives you this but when you restart it still gives you the boot manager missing so you want to do it manually go to the command prompt and in the command prompt type this command boot rec space forward slash fix boot and press enter I prefer doing this throughout the command prompt instead of automatically so I don't have to do it twice when you click enter you'll see that the operation completed successfully and then click on restart once you click on restart you should be able to reboot fine without any uh, errors Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you.